in order for us to get to the place where we are exposing that this thing is a lie, we've got to look back and say, where are the problem areas at in my life? You know what we can do? We do know how to identify problems, right? We know what problem areas we have in our lives. We, we can see the problem. Now, what you need to do is, is you need to pinpoint the problem once you pinpoint the problem, you interrogate the problem. When you interrogate the problem, you will expose the lie. When you expose the lie, then you have to take it into captivity. But you don't just take thoughts into captivity and, and that's all you do and you stop there. There's one more step. You take it into captivity, but then you got to replace the lie with a truth. And what we do is, well, we may identify the problem and we may expose the lie. And then once we do that, the thing that we don't do oftentimes is replace it with the truth. And if you don't replace it with the truth, then the lie will just circle back around in another lie and come and catch you off guard again. And if you think about Jesus, when he went into the wilderness driven by the spirit and was tempted by the devil, and when, he, when, when the devil would come and tempt him and bring him these lies, Jesus responded to it with what? A truth. He responded every time with the truth, and the truth was what? The word of God. He responded with a truth. 